guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome if you're new here. My name is Jen, I'm a certified weight loss and nutrition coach and I'm on the WW or the Weight Watchers Blue Plan. I'm so excited for another recipe video for you guys. I'm going to be showing you my brand new air fryer grill combo. This thing is so amazing. It is so different than most air fryers on the market and you'll see why in today's video. We're actually going to make two WW friendly recipes, one air fried and one grilled. So if you're excited for today's recipe video, give this one a big huge thumbs up. And if you're new or you haven't yet subscribed to my channel, I'd love to have you. Hit the little subscribe button and don't forget to ring the bell right next to it so you never miss a single video. I will link this air fryer grill combo down in the description box along with nutrition coaching where I offer personalized macros and calories so that I can help you reach your goals, whether it's to lose weight or maintain your weight. I also offer 30 and 60 minute one-on-one -on -one individual coaching sessions if you want just a little bit more individualized support. All of my other favorite things will be linked down in the description box along with my Facebook group, head on over and join us. We'd love to have you part of that community as well. So let's jump in. We've got two delicious WW friendly air fryer grill recipes. Before we start preparing our recipes, I want to show you my air fryer grill combo. This is from a company called Aki Home, and this is called the Crisp X. You can see here that it has a digital plate where you can set it to grill or air fry. It does both in one unit. You can set the time and the temperature. It does have thermal flow, so it cooks your food seven times faster, and this beautiful glass dome lid allows you to see your food while it's cooking. It comes with the basket and the plates for both air frying and grilling. So let's look at the air fryer setup first. So you will add your basket to the plate with the hole in the middle, and then you pop on the glass dome and you can see your food air frying. No more need to shake over and over again. It cooks it evenly and thoroughly. Now to grill, you would remove the air fryer plate Add the grill plate to your Crisp X, put your food that you'd like to grill on the plate directly, and then once again, add that nice big glass dome lid to the top so you can see your food as it grills. So it comes with very minimal attachments. It's a very small but mighty home appliance. So you can see that this little unit right here, both grills and air fries, which I'm really excited about. It takes the place of two separate small appliances. It comes with an instruction manual, very, very detailed, walks you through things that you need to know, FAQs and how to use the unit. And then it also includes a small quick start guide, which this is all that I use to prepare my recipes. There's the one side for the air fryer and the other side for the grill. So let's start cooking. For the grill part of our air fryer 360 grill combo, we're going to make chicken fajita sandwiches. So we're going to start with some tenderloins due to the size of the grill in this unit. I'm gonna use tenderloins because I can put more on there and batch cook these in one to two batches. We're gonna season that with the Thrive Fajita seasoning mix. I will link the Thrive Market down below for you. If you're interested, they do have a free gift with purchase and 25% off of your first order when you join Thrive. You guys know how much I love the Thrive Market. And then I have some oil here because I'm going to actually mix together the fajita seasoning as package directions. These are the hoagie rolls we're going to use for the sandwiches, a bell pepper, and a sweet onion that will fry up separately while the chicken is grilling. So let's start our grilled chicken fajita sandwiches. The first thing I want to do is actually get my chicken started so that it can marinate a little bit while we chop up the bell pepper and the onion. So I'm going to go ahead and add the packet of fajita seasoning mix. I'm going to add about a tablespoon of this avocado oil and about a quarter cup of water. I'm going to mix this together and again just let that chicken marinate while we chop up the onion and the bell pepper. Now we're going to cut our bell pepper into strips and slice up our onion. Isn't this a good life? It's 
Sitting on the front porch, sipping on the rocks, citrus in our back. So to grill up our chicken, we're going to use the quick start guide for the air grill. So of course I have the grilling pan, the lid, and the unit. So the unit will not turn on until you actually put one of the pans in, whether it be the air fryer or the grill. So I'm going to go ahead and place the grill on. It's very, very easy to swap these out. Then I'm going to place the glass dome on and you'll hear that the unit then turns on once you put on the lid. Just to be safe, I am going to spray it with a little bit of non-stick cooking spray and go ahead and start adding the chicken. We should be able to fit quite a few chicken tenderloins on the grill. Don't let the small size fool you. This is enough chicken tenderloins for both Troy and I. I do have some extras here in my bowl, so I'll double batch cook this, but this is enough for at least two to three people. I'm now going to add the glass dome, which I love so you can see your food cooking in real time. So I went ahead and turned my dial to air grill, and now I'm going to adjust the time. So I have it at 450 degrees. I'm going to turn the time down to probably 30 minutes. I don't think it's going to take much more than that to cook the chicken and then I'm going to hit the button to start cooking I want you to listen to how incredibly quiet this is I can't believe how silent this is for a air fryer While our chicken is grilling, we're gonna go ahead and fry up the bell pepper and the onion. Did go ahead and season my peppers and onions here with some salt and pepper. I'm just going to let these get nice and caramelized while that chicken's cooking. So it's been about five minutes. I just wanna let you guys know that it's starting to steam up a little bit in there. I can still see the chicken and you can see the steam where it's cooking. We'll probably flip these about halfway through. I'm going to go ahead and pop the lid off. It will shut it off temporarily and I'm going to flip my chicken. Oh my goodness. Look at how gorgeous that is. Wow, it smells incredible. So I'm going to go ahead and flip over my tenderloins. Those grill marks, y'all, those are gorgeous. Okay, flip those over, pop the lid back on, click the button in the middle to start it again. One of my favorite features about this air fryer is I can see my food cooking. That is genius. I hated having to open my air fryer all the time, shake the basket all the time. I can see exactly what is happening. Not to mention the glass dome itself is absolutely stunning. It's a very easy to use. It's simple dials and buttons. So, so far the grilling is going amazing and I'm loving it. Look how gorgeous my peppers and onions are. These look incredible. I'm going to let them cook down just another couple of minutes and then I'll remove them from the heat and set them aside until our chicken is done. Since I'm able to see my chicken, it looks like it's done to me. So let's go ahead and remove the glass dome that automatically pauses the cooking. Look at this chicken. It looks like professional grilled chicken at home. I'm so excited. So, oh yeah, these are definitely done. So I'm going to remove them, just set them in a bowl here while I cook up that second batch of chicken and then we'll put together the sandwiches. Sitting on the front porch, sipping on the rocks, citrus in our beverages, citrus in our beverages, show only the good sides. Always pretty smiles are covering our faces. You know it is all I While the rest of the chicken is cooking, I'm going to make up Troy's sandwich. So I have one of the hoagie rolls. I'm going to add some of the bell pepper and onion mix, which by the way, looks delicious. I'm going to add about a tablespoon of light mayo and a couple of these grilled chicken tenderloins. I can't believe how amazing these came out. And there is the chicken fajita sandwich. This looks absolutely incredible. And again, I'm completely impressed on how beautiful these grilled up. So let's go over the points for the sandwich. Now the hoagie roll is six smart points. The tablespoon of light mayo is one point. The chicken is zero. The veggies are zero. I do not count for the little bit of oil in the marinade because a lot of that cooks off. This is going to be seven points for this chicken fajita sandwich. 
test out the air fryer portion of the Crispex, we are going to make potato skins. I'm really excited for this. Such a great appetizer, a great side for a dinner. So of course you're going to need some potatoes. I'm just using russet potatoes, oil. We're gonna add bacon bits, light cheese, chives, and then some salt and pepper. The first thing we're going to do is cook our potatoes. I went ahead and washed these really well. So to assemble for the air fryer, we have the tray that just sits right over the burner. And then our basket sits nicely right on the tray. I did go ahead and spray my basket with some non-stick cooking spray. And then I'm just going to put my three whole potatoes right in the basket. So now we're ready to go ahead and add the glass dome over the potatoes and we're going to set this for the air fryer mode. Hit your air fry button. It'll automatically default the temperature to 400 for 25 minutes. If that works for you, all you have to do is hit the start button. I air fry everything at 400 and the recipe wants us to cook the potatoes for about 20 minutes. So we're gonna leave it at 25. We can always stop it early or add some additional time. I'm of course going to keep my eye on my potatoes. I want them to steam up and of course be soft to the touch so that we can slice these in half and make those potato skins. I just can't believe how incredibly quiet this is. Can we just pause for a moment mid cooking and just admire my amazing family. My sweet husband Diesel, Lola and Palmer. Have I mentioned I'm the luckiest girl ever? It's been 20 minutes and the potatoes are still pretty hard so I went ahead and put them back on air fry for 20 minutes. My recommendation would be to cook them in the microwave for a few minutes first and then pop them into the air fryer basket. All right, the potatoes are done. We're just going to let them cool for just a couple of minutes so that we can touch them to cut them in half. You know it is all lies. On and on and on it goes Round and round the rodeo Breathing out air for a minute Taking my time to begin with so you can see that I've removed a lot of the inside of the potato. Now I'm just going to drizzle just a tiny little bit of oil into each potato and season it with salt and pepper. We're going to add one tablespoon of light shredded cheese to each potato skin and then one tablespoon of bacon bits. And lastly, I'm going to top each skin with just a few chives. Now we're going to put the potato skins in to the air fryer basket again. We're probably only going to be able to fit three, so we'll have to do this in two batches. We have our three potato skins in the basket. We'll just cook up the other three in a second batch. I'm going to place the glass lid on top and turn this on into air fryer mode. Air fry. It'll be at 400. The time's 25 minutes, we'll just go ahead and watch it. Hit the button to start. Look at how delicious these look. I think that the first batch is done. Look at our potato skins. Those look incredible. So I'm going to pop these three out of the air fryer and then we'll put the other three in. Look at how delicious those look. The three are in. Right, the potato skins are done. This would be a perfect appetizer or the side dish to a main meal. You could pair it with some zero point protein and it would be a really good lunch or dinner. So each one of the potato skins is three points for the potato, one point for the bacon, one point for the cheese makes five. I just have some light sour cream here. You could add that to it or dip it in it. Just make sure whatever you add to the potato skins that you add the points. But this looks absolutely incredible and that air fryer worked really well to get these nice and crispy. Just like the grill function, the air fryer also has the little grips so that you can pull the nice hot air fryer right off of the burner. The final review on the air fryer grill combo. So I really, really like it. I will say that because it is smaller in size, it's better suited for a single person or maybe a two person household, maybe a three person household. But I really like that one unit has the option to grill and to air fry. I love the glass lid so that you can see how your food is cooking. It's very easy to operate, very easy to clean. I would highly, highly recommend. So I will link it down 
below. They did give a link for an introductory price. So I'll put that down below as well for you guys. So if you're in the market for an air fryer or air fryer grill combo, again, I would highly recommend. Thank you for joining me on another WW recipe video. I promise that air fryer grill combo is something special. It is very, very cool. I love that it is glass so you can see your food cooking. No guessing on if it's done, no shaking it up. You can see it cook and know when it's ready to go. I love that it's an air fryer grill combo as well. So it's two small home appliances in one. It will be linked down in the description box for you guys along with a special price. So if you enjoyed today's recipe video, give it a big huge thumbs up. And don't forget if you're new or you haven't yet subscribed, I'd love to have you here. Hit the subscribe button and don't forget to ring the bell next to it. Both of these recipes will be on my recipe website, which is also linked down in that description box along with nutrition coaching, links, discounts to my other favorite things and my Facebook group. So thank you so much for coming along with me today and I'll see you all next time. Bye.